This video is sponsored by Kimono Friends Kingdom. I recently got an email from Neocraft Studio, the developer of Kimono Friends Kingdom, which, if you're not aware about, this is the recently released gacha game of the famous anime Kimono Friends. Surprised as I was, I immediately had to check out the game, how much I like it, and if I would want to promote it on my channel. And the fact that you're seeing this, the answer should be pretty obvious. I have tested this year alone over 10 different gacha games. I even made a tier list with the ones I tested, and I can say for certain that even though anime gacha games have a really bad reputation of only existing because of its company trying to make money, for Kimono Friends Kingdom, this couldn't be further from the truth. You can feel from the first few minutes how much care went into this game. Not only does it look great, but it also has various different features that make it not only enjoyable to play, but also to grind. But let me clarify one thing, even though this video is sponsored, everything I will be saying is unfiltered and is absolutely my honest opinion about it. When you first open the game, you will be greeted by a lovely cutscene, explaining you some minor details about where you have just landed. But there's still a lot of things unknown. The story starts with two animal looking girls spotting someone in the water and save them from drowning. This someone was you. Sadly, you have lost all your memories and you have no clue where you are, what's going on or even who you are. Luckily, after searching through your backpack, I was able to figure out that I am Sisif and I'm a girl. Thanks to that, at least I know my name. But even though I almost drowned, there was no time to rest. A monster looking creature called Cerulean appeared. We tried running away, but even though we are in the animal kingdom, I am neither fast nor strong, and shortly after I was out of breath, which allowed the Ceruleans to catch up to us and attack us. And this is how the first battle starts. Gameplay is one of the most important aspects of any gacha game, and it didn't disappoint. At the start of the battle, you use a paper plane to send your friends into battle. They will deal damage on impact, and after they land, they have a turn to attack the enemy. My first impression was Gacha meets Flappy Bird, but with a lot more strategy. Not only is it super fun to have a little minigame in the battle itself, but the different strategies you can use should not be underestimated. Each friend has an ability, which is called Miracle, and you can use this miracle once per battle. But this miracle you can use whenever. You can use it when you shoot your friend, but you can also use it in the middle of the battle. This allows you to come up with many different strategies. For example, there is one friend that buffs the next friend to come in. And you can imagine if you use a damage dealer right after, that friend will deal a lot more damage than it would usually would do. This is just one out of many strats that exist. There are also many different classes like tanks, damage dealers, healers, supporter and much more. Each friend is also a certain type. Red, green or blue. Red is effective against green, green is effective against blue and blue is effective against red. So you can not always bring the same unit to any battle, since eventually she will encounter a type where she will not deal any damage against it. And what I almost forgot to talk about is how every miracle has its own animation and they look pretty damn cool. If you progress through the story, you will get harder and harder stages, eventually requiring you to actually use some strategy. The reason why I'm such a huge fan of this kind of gameplay is that the fights are meant to be short. In most other gacha games, there's a chance a fight can last up to 30 minutes if not longer. And here, since you can only use the miracle once, the fights are just shorter. The good thing about it is, you can play one or two stages, maybe on the bus, when you're at work you have downtime, or if you're just sitting on a toilet, there is no fear that you're gonna be stuck on a stage for about 10 minutes or some shit. And even though there are a few missing collect all buttons, the grinding is how it should be in every gacha game. In Genshin Impact or Faker and Ordery, you have to physically farm your materials, which takes sometimes hours of active playing. In Arknights, you can click on auto to let your phone farm for minutes each run. In Kimono Friends Kingdom, you can click on Blaze Farm. And this will spend all your stamina that you want to use in one go. And it's done in a matter of seconds. 
Gacha games are intended to be side games that don't take away all your life with mindless grinding. And this is in my opinion how every gacha game should be. But gameplay alone does not give it enough reason to play it. The heart of any gacha game is its characters. If the characters are not to your liking, you wouldn't want to continue playing the gacha game. So what do I think of them? For those who haven't seen the anime, all the characters are based on actual animals. Already something I think is super interesting, since I'm personally a massive fan of Kemono Mimi, also known as animal features like tails and ears. This itself is an interesting twist, but unlike many other gacha games, it has an educational value as well. If you are one of many players that loves to research the lore of each character, if you do this in this game, you will learn the most important things to know about the character's animal it was inspired on. And those features are not just hidden in the character's lore, but just by reading the story you will realize that each friend also behaves how the original animal most likely would act in that situation as well. As for design, on each character, you can easily see on what kind of animal it was based on. But since all of them are girls, some really and super cute combinations were made. Like for example the penguin characters. Not only are they super cute, but I really love how much passion went into their design. Or my personal favorite, the wolf girls. I've always been a massive fan of them, but damn, they look so good and well as in this game. And even though the game just released, it still has an outstanding amount of characters, and all of them have life to D, with an additional life to D skin if you upgrade them. If I were asked about what is negative about the characters, then it would be that the low tier unit look just as good as the high tier units. As an example, this is how my favorite 6 star looks like. Pretty nice design, right? But then, this is how my favorite 4 star looks like. I actually waifu'd her over the 6 star. Or for example, this is just a random 3 star. Sometimes when looking at low rarity units, you feel like that not as much effort went into them. But here, it really feels like all of them got the same amount of attention. As for the story, I need to admit, I personally have not seen the anime. And I don't know how close it actually is to the original material. But the way they made the text, the small animations and how everything is displayed feels really pleasant. And even I started to read the story, which I didn't even intend for. Partially at fault it might be the music as well. It's just so relaxing to listen to it, while pretty much everything of the starring dialogue is voice acted. It just feels so inviting to read the story. We have now looked at the four core elements of any gacha game, which are gameplay, art, characters, and story. The fifth core that many forget about, but once they see it, it might be a deal breaker to them, gacha rates. Usually the lower the pull rate is, the higher the chance the company just wants your money. And most of the time, the pull rate from the highest rarity of character varies from 0.4% to 2.5%. Most anime gacha games show here their real face with shitty rates for their most beloved characters. So if you want the main character, you need to spend a shit ton of money. And when I saw that the chance of getting the highest rated character in this game was a 2.5% chance, I was more than relieved. And so obviously, it was time for me to do some pulls. I did in total 50 pulls, and the summoning animation is pretty interactive. But if it isn't for you, you can also just skip it. When you first do pulls, you will be greeted with a lot of information you will not have in any other gacha game. On the right side, you can check what kind of animal this character was inspired on. On the left side, you can see her rarity, her archetype and her type. And what I find most interesting about it is the freaking conservation status. Besides that you can see what kind of species it is, you are able to see how likely it is to go extinct in the near future. This is so out of nowhere and so wild. But it just is such a cool feature that they added. I just got a second temple. Sadly, I think it's only for the standard banner, but if there is a chance to get Hippotas, I love the hippo. She looks so gosh damn hot. So anything that is like a 5 star, I think I can be very pleased with. Or this is a 5 star, at least one 5 star, so I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. But I, ca I can't believe that the arctic wolf, she looks so hot, I'm kind of sad she's just a 3 star. 
Japanese bear, I mean, she's cute, but I... I don't know, she's not my favorite. I want. I wanted her. She is cool, I actually know, I think there's a VTuber that has, like, based her design off her. I really love the penguins. I want to see if we get, like, one good 5 star. Another penguin, man, I had, didn't had her before, now I got her twice. Oh wait, this is a 6 star? It's the main girl! <laughs> I didn't know she- okay, I thought, like, we had a 5 star. Man, <laughs> that's wild. I really hope she's at least somehow useful. I think she's the main girl, so they must have made her a bit, a bit strong, otherwise it would be kinda sad. I also like that monkey. In total, I got 5 5 star characters, which is the second highest rarity. And on the beginner banner, I was able to get the main girl, Saval, with my first 20 pulls. I was super excited about my luck, until I realized that they give one free 6 star away on the beginner banner. Still. Eager to try her out in battle, I immediately went into the story, only to realize that my cat girl is fucking broken. So I leveled her to make her even more broken, and I generally had so much fun playing her. There is also a tower system, which you get for every floor you beat, one summoning ticket. You can imagine how broken she was for the first few stages. There is also a raid mode, which I got obliterated in. There's also a lot of content that I sadly can't showcase you since you have to play through the story to unlock them. They even have a recruitment system, so even if you're broke and you don't have any gacha currency, you can go in there, select certain tags, and based on what you selected, there's a chance you get a high rarity friend. They also have a room or base system, in this game known as a park. Obviously you have to try it up for many days, weeks or even months, to fully comprehend and understand how certain things work and if they're actually fun to do or not. But my first impression was that it isn't too bad and it's actually quite useful that you get stamina from it. But as for my final thoughts, I ended up playing the game a lot longer than I needed to since it honestly was just super fun. You don't have to be playing gacha games for years to know that this game was made with care and the goal of the developer team was to create a good game that generally makes fun to play, rather than just a quick cash grab from the fans of the series. The music was great and the story were well written. It really gave me just a super relaxing time, which I technically got paid for. The biggest strength of Kimono Friends Kingdom is how lovely the art style is and with how much passion the Life 2D was made. The only thing I saw in my first session of playing the game is the collect all button due to the game giving you a shit ton of stuff to collect as a new player. Everything else was just a well-made gacha game with lovely art style and great animation. There is also a ton of very convenient features. Like I said, the blitz feature that lets you grind everything in one instant. Or if you have beaten a stage, you can immediately go to the next stage without having to go into the menu again. This gacha game really feels like it was made by people that also play gacha games themselves. But I have been praising the game for about 12 minutes straight, and since this is a sponsorship, many of you think I might actually just say this because I am sponsored to do that. I have no requirements to say anything in this video. And the thing is, I researched on Reddit, I researched on Google Play Store, I researched on YouTube what the common perception is of this game. And everything I read is very positive about the game, and my own experience were just as well as positive. Even if I wouldn't have been sponsored to play this game, I honestly would have said the same positive things, since it is actually one of the better gacha games I've played in 2023. And as I previously said, I made a tier list with all my games that I played in this year. And I have to admit, this is on the highest tier. And again, not because I got paid, because it is actually that high of quality. Most of you including me are always skeptical. When you see a game that has an IP, for the people that don't know what it is, if it's like a license from an anime, because most of these are made just to do a quick crash grab. But this is not the case for this one, trust me on that, it is actually a good game. If you are curious to try the game out yourself, please use the link in the description to also support me. But with that said, a huge thanks to Neocraft Studio for giving me this huge opportunity and this great sponsorship. But with that said, I wish you had a good time watching it, and with that, have a nice one, and bye bye from the side, have a good one, and see ya.